The Haunted School Bus. Once upon a time, in a small town nestled between rolling hills, there was a school bus that had been retired from service. The bus had served generations of children, but now it sat abandoned in a desolate lot at the edge of town. Rumors circulated among the kids that the bus was haunted, but nobody dared to go near it. One stormy night, a group of adventurous friends, consisting of Sam, Lily, Tom, and Emma, decided to investigate the old bus. Armed with flashlights and bravery, they crept through the darkness towards the looming silhouette of the bus. As they approached, the wind howled ominously and the rain poured down in sheets. The rusty hinges creaked as they pushed open the creaky door, revealing the musty interior of the bus. Cobwebs adorned the seats and the air was thick with dust. Ignoring their growing sense of unease, the friends ventured further inside, their footsteps echoing eerily in the empty space. Suddenly, a loud crash echoed through the bus, causing the friends to jump in fright. They turned towards the source of the noise and saw a broken window, with shards of glass littering the floor. But there was something else, a faint whispering sound that seemed to be coming from the shadows. Terrified but curious, the friends followed the whispers, which led them to the back of the bus. There, they discovered an old, tattered journal hidden beneath the seat. As they flipped through its pages, they uncovered the tragic tale of a school bus driver who had disappeared years ago, along with all the children on his route. As the storm raged outside, the friends realized they were not alone on the bus. The spirits of the missing children were trapped within its rusty walls, longing to be set free. But before they could make sense of it all, a sudden flash of lightning illuminated the bus, revealing ghostly figures standing before them. With screams echoing in the night, the friends fled from the bus, vowing never to return. Little did they know, their encounter with the haunted school bus was just the beginning of a chilling adventure that would haunt them for years to come. After their terrifying encounter with the haunted school bus, Sam, Lily, Tom, and Emma couldn't shake the feeling of dread that lingered in the air. Despite their promises to stay away, curiosity gnawed at them, urging them to unravel the mystery surrounding the bus. One day, while walking home from school, the friends found themselves passing by the abandoned lot where the bus lay dormant. A chill ran down their spines as they glanced at the looming silhouette, but something compelled them to investigate further. With hesitant steps, they approached the bus once again, their hearts pounding in their chests. The air was thick with tension as they pushed open the door and entered the dark interior. This time, they were determined to confront whatever lurked within. As they explored the bus, strange things began to happen. Shadows danced in the corners of their vision, and cold drafts whispered through the aisles. Every creak and groan of the old bus seemed to echo with the voices of the past. Suddenly, Lily let out a blood-curdling scream as a ghostly figure materialized before them. It was the spirit of the missing bus driver, his hollow eyes fixed on the children with a silent plea for help. Trembling with fear, the friends listened as he recounted the events that led to his disappearance. Years ago, on a dark and stormy night much like this one, the bus driver had taken a wrong turn down a forgotten road. Lost in the labyrinth of winding streets, he had unwittingly stumbled upon an ancient cemetery hidden deep within the woods. It was there that he encountered something sinister, something that had cursed him and the children on his route to wander the earth for all eternity. As the ghostly tale reached its chilling conclusion, the friends knew they had to break the curse and set the trapped spirits free. With newfound determination, they vowed to uncover the truth behind the haunted school bus and put an end to its reign of terror. But little did they know, the darkness that lurked within the bus was far more powerful than they could have ever imagined. And as they delved deeper into the mystery, they would soon discover that some secrets are better left buried in the shadows. As the days passed, Sam, Lily, Tom, and Emma couldn't shake the haunting memories of their encounter with the ghostly bus driver. Determined to uncover the truth and free the trapped spirits, they delved into research, scouring old archives and local legends for clues. Their investigation led them to a dusty book hidden deep within the town library's archives. Bound in cracked leather and adorned with faded symbols, the book contained an ancient ritual, a ritual said to have the power to banish spirits and break curses. With trembling hands, the friends studied the instructions, their hearts racing with excitement and fear. According to the book, 
the ritual required specific ingredients and incantations, as well as a location imbued with spiritual energy. And there was only one place that fit the description, the very cemetery where the bus driver had lost his way. Undeterred by the dangers that lay ahead, the friends set out into the night, armed with candles, herbs, and the knowledge they had gleaned from the ancient tome. The air was thick with anticipation as they made their way through the overgrown paths of the cemetery, guided by the light of the full moon above. At the heart of the cemetery, they found what they were looking for, a crumbling mausoleum surrounded by crumbling tombstones and gnarled trees. It was here that they would perform the ritual, hoping against hope that it would be enough to break the curse. With bated breath, they lit the candles and began to chant the incantations, their voices trembling with intensity. As they spoke the ancient words, the air crackled with energy, and a chill wind swept through the graveyard. But before they could complete the ritual, a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, its eyes blazing with malevolent intent. It was the guardian of the cemetery, a vengeful spirit tasked with protecting the souls that lay within. With a blood-curdling scream, the guardian lunged at the friends, its form shifting and twisting with unnatural speed. Desperate to defend themselves, they fought back with all their might, their voices rising in defiance against the darkness that threatened to consume them. But as the battle raged on, they realized that they were hopelessly outmatched. With a final surge of strength, they completed the ritual, channeling all their energy into banishing the Guardian and breaking the curse once and for all. As the last echoes of the incantation faded into the night, the air grew still, and a sense of peace washed over the cemetery. The curse had been lifted, and the trapped spirits were finally free to find rest in the afterlife. Exhausted but victorious, Sam, Lily, Tom, and Emma emerged from the cemetery, their bond stronger than ever before. Little did they know, their journey was far from over, and the true horrors that awaited them were yet to be revealed. After their harrowing encounter at the cemetery, Sam, Lily, Tom, and Emma found themselves plagued by nightmares and a sense of foreboding. Despite their victory in breaking the curse, they couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister still lurked in the shadows, waiting to strike. Determined to uncover the truth, the friends returned to the abandoned school bus, hoping to find answers hidden within its rusty walls. As they stepped inside, they were greeted by the eerie silence that seemed to permeate the air, broken only by the sound of their own footsteps echoing through the empty space. Their search led them to the back of the bus, where they discovered a hidden compartment beneath one of the seats. Inside, they found a tattered journal, the same journal they had stumbled upon during their first visit to the bus. With trembling hands, they flipped through its pages, their eyes widening in horror as they uncovered the dark secrets that lay within. The journal belonged to the bus driver, and it chronicled his descent into madness as he struggled to cope with the curse that had befallen him and the children on his route. As they read on, they learned of a sinister force that had been manipulating events from the shadows, a malevolent entity known only as the Watcher. According to the journal, the Watcher was responsible for cursing the bus and trapping the souls of the children within its walls, feeding off their fear and despair to sustain its own twisted existence. Realizing the true nature of the threat they faced, the friends knew they had to confront the Watcher and put an end to its reign of terror once and for all. But to do so, they would need to unravel the mystery of its origins and find a way to banish it from their town forever. With newfound determination, they set out on a quest to uncover the truth, following a trail of clues that led them deeper into the heart of darkness. But as they delved deeper, they soon realized that the Watcher was not the only threat they faced, and the true horror of their situation was far worse than they could have ever imagined. As Sam, Lily, Tom, and Emma delved deeper into the mystery surrounding the Watcher, they uncovered a dark history of the town, one plagued by tragedy and loss. It seemed that the entity had been manipulating events for centuries, feeding off the fear and suffering of the townspeople to fuel its own twisted desires. Determined to put an end to the Watcher's reign of terror, the friends sought out the only person who might have answers, an elderly woman named Mrs. Hawthorne, rumored to be the town's resident expert on the supernatural. With her guidance, they learned of an ancient ritual, a ritual that had been used by their ancestors to bind the Watcher and banish it from their midst. 
but the ritual came with a price, a sacrifice that would require the ultimate act of bravery and selflessness. Armed with the knowledge they had gained, the friends prepared to face the Watcher one final time. They knew the risks they faced, but they were willing to do whatever it took to protect their town and free the trapped souls of the children. As night fell, they gathered at the site of the abandoned school bus, their hearts pounding with anticipation and fear. With Mrs. Hawthorne's guidance, they began the ritual, channeling their energy into a powerful beacon of light that pierced through the darkness. But as they performed the ritual, the Watcher emerged from the shadows, its form twisting and contorting with unearthly rage. With a deafening roar, it lashed out at the friends, determined to destroy anyone who dared to defy it. In a desperate bid to save their town, Sam stepped forward, offering themselves as a sacrifice to the Watcher in exchange for the safety of their friends and the town. With tears in their eyes, the friends watched as Sam confronted the Watcher, facing their fears head-on with unwavering courage. As the final moments of the ritual approached, a blinding light engulfed the bus, illuminating the darkness with its brilliance. With a triumphant cry, the friends watched as the Watcher was banished from their town, its malevolent presence vanquished once and for all. But as they celebrated their victory, they knew that Sam's sacrifice would never be forgotten. Their bravery had saved the town from a fate worse than death, and their memory would live on in the hearts of those they had sworn to protect. And so, as the sun rose on a new day, the town of Millwood stood united against the darkness, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For they knew that as long as they stood together, no evil could ever hope to conquer them.